Welcome to Eating Well with Crystal. It is that time of the year. Cold wind is blowing. Leaves are changing colors. Need more layers to keep us warm. Pumpkin spice latte becomes the favorite. No matter you like the pumpkin-themed Halloween decoration or pumpkin pie at your Thanksgiving dinner, harvest pumpkin dominates the fall season. For me, nothing can beat was sipping on a bowl of warm, creamy, and flavorful pumpkin soup in the wet, cold day or night, paired with spinach glass noodle salad, a fruit bowl, and French toast. Sweet and savory for the mouth, warm and soothing for the heart. This is what I bring to you today: pumpkin soup meal recipe to enjoy this beautiful season. Now let's get started. This is what you need for the soup: pumpkins. I end up using two of them. Each one is a little bit over one pound. Celery, red onion. Carrots, cilantro, garlic, ginger, and scallion. First, wash everything under running water to get rid of the dust and dirt. Then, I'm gonna prep the pumpkin first. Split the pumpkin into half. Seed out. If you don't like the pulp, you can carve out the inner layer. Pumpkin skin is edible, but it could add hours for the soup to be ready, and the texture of the soup might get rough. So I decide to cut it off. Pumpkin is rich in vitamin A, C, and zinc, which all help to boost your immune system. The fiber pumpkin contains can keep you full longer. The potassium, magnesium, and iron will strengthen your heart. Pumpkin is also very low in calorie. One cup of pumpkin only contains 83 calories. Very smart swap for cheese, which contains 520 calories in one cup. If you're trying to lose some weight, you know what you should eat. Roughly cut the pumpkin into chunks and set aside. Carrots. If you purchase the organic carrots, you don't have to peel the skin. The carrots are for your eyes. Because they're rich in beta carotene, which convert into vitamin A in your body to protect your eyes from the sun and lower your chance of cataract and other eye problems when you get older. Roughly cut into chunks and set aside. Celery stalks. This is another superfood with high nutrition and extremely low in calories. Only 16 calories in one cup. Cut the stalks into one-inch-long chunks. Red onion, powerful prebiotic foods, help you build a healthy gut, which is crucial for weight loss and belly fat loss. Cut into chunks and set aside. One thing in common for these foods are their natural sweetness. You don't need to add any extra sugar to make the pumpkin soup taste sweet. It's like eating dessert without calories. Then I prepare the scallion, cut the garlic. Peel the ginger and slice it, and chop the cilantro for the final garnish. Now it's time to saute the vegetables. Heat on high, melt a tablespoon butter in the wok. Add ginger, garlic, and scallion in, and stir until you can smell the aroma. Then add the red onion. Carrots and celery in. Stir a few times. Last, add pumpkins. Mix the vegetables. I would like to add some chicken stock to give the soup a richer taste. It's not technically a dessert. You do want to have other tastes to make it feel like a regular meal. If you're vegan, use vegetable stock instead.
and then add extra water to fill the wok until the water soak the vegetable completely under. It's totally up to your personal preference for the ratio of the water and the stock. Close the lid and let it simmer on high for 15 minutes. While waiting, I prepare the spinach glass noodle salad. Soak the glass noodle in a bowl. When the noodle becomes soft, take it out and put it in the plate. Add the spinach leaves and some goji berries on top of the plate. Boil water for steaming. Steam the plate for about 4 to 5 minutes. When steaming, prepare the salad dressing. Take a small bowl, add a few pieces of peppercorn, one piece of dry chili pepper, two cloves grounded garlic, and half tablespoon cooking oil. Heat the dressing in the microwave for one and a half minutes to bring out the flavor of the chili pepper and the peppercorn. Pour a spoon light soy sauce, one spoon vinegar, and the heated dressing. Mix it well. I also add a few grape tomatoes to bright up the color. Don't judge, I just need to have some red color in my meal. It makes me happy. Now we're come back to the pumpkin soup. Occasionally stir the vegetable soup to make sure nothing sticks to the bottom. Once the carrots are easy to break down, turn the heat off. Let it cool down a little. Then transfer the veggie mix to your blender or use the immersion blender for puree. This big pot of soup took me three times to finish the whole puree process. It should look like this creamy, bright yellow color. After the puree, transfer the puree back to this pot, heat on medium, and bring the soup to boil. Be careful of the splash. Start to add one teaspoon of salt, and half teaspoon of ground pepper, or whatever you prefer for your taste bud. Stir well, and turn the heat off. The soup is ready. Pour the soup into a dinner bowl. You can pair with the spinach glass noodle salad. I also washed some fruit, and toast a piece of bread. The pumpkin soup meal is tasty, fruity, and super healthy. If you want a, a creamier taste, drop a few dips of whipped cream. Create whatever arts you're up to. By the way, this is my daughter creating the moon and the star scene. Finally, garnish with chopped cilantro. Mix, have a spoon of creamy pumpkin soup. Take a bite of a spinach salad, grab some fruit, your nutrition-rich, multi-flavored, low-calorie, delicious meal will soon fill you up before you start to think about your calorie limit. Let this creamy, appetizing pumpkin soup meal become your fall and winter regular to stay healthy and keep fit. Do you like this video? Give it a thumbs up and try it out. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more videos like this to eat well. Thank you for watching. Can't wait to see you next time. Bye.